the term deathcore <clears throat> became um, what it is. You know, people consider it with a look and a, a certain tone and a sound. Um, you know, the, the heavy breakdown in the groove mixed with some death metal um, nuance. And really, like, you can take any combination of that. To me, deathcore was always um, the freeing yourself of being a death metal band or a hardcore band and being unable to step outside of death metal to make a hardcore record if you really loved hardcore in a death metal band. You know, like, that's ridiculous in itself. Why not just play both styles? Or, you know, why is metalcore only allowed to sing on their music? You know, there's tons of hardcore bands from, you know, the, the early 90s, early 80s that were singing on their records. You know, that the, 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 that's how the singer wanted to express himself and nobody questioned it because it was punk rock to do whatever the fuck you wanted to do. Um, so, I mean, Deathcore always represented that. It always represented a coming together of a bunch of sounds. You know, it had a little bit of new metal. It had a little bit of death metal. It had a lot, of, a lot of fucking hardcore influence with the breakdowns and the look and the style. Um, you know, so, so, so to me, what we're doing right now is just a furthering of Deathcore. It's, a, it's an advancing of it. It's not allowing it to become stale and governed by a certain prison of sound that kids are accustomed to hearing. Uh, kids are not, not ready for, for the sound that we're bringing because it's too live, you know? Some people need to realize that Deathcore didn't exist, you know, before 2006? Yeah, something like that. You know, or, you know so... 2006. So, even, like, we were playing ten, music ten years, before man. the term Deathcore started, and we were playing music in a similar vein that we still are. Trying to tell us. And, and <laughs> like, you know, being called, being called a genre that didn't exist before our band really makes me have a hard time even deciphering the difference between the music I play and deathcore. So it's like, I, I, I don't even understand what deathcore is. True. And it's, it's because, uh, you know, of the pigeonholing or whatever that our band has had its whole career and seeing, you know, people hating on deathcore, you know, it, it's, it's whole entire time of existence. Like, it's this, it's, it's comparable to any other, you know, subgenre of metal, you know, like, uh, any any fucking dude. People hate on black metal, dude. People hate on fucking death metal. People hate on uh, power metal. It's like it, if it's any different from what you're listening to, you're gonna hate on it because it's not yours. I don't know. Like quit identifying with fucking music and just listen to it because your identity doesn't fucking matter to the people who are making the music. Bottom line. Yeah, it's if if you're just a person that purely listens to things because it's a specific genre, then you probably won't like our new record. <laughs> if you quit only, being a sheep. Yeah, like you're following you're following what people are telling you, and and you're listening to something that nah. even, like fucking deathcore is not. What the fuck is deathcore? What the fuck is new metal? It's not a swoopy fucking haircut, dude. It's not 2006 hairdos with fucking skinny jeans and a long t-shirt. That's not deathcore. I'm sorry. Even deathcore isn't tattoos. It's a sound. It's a, then it's not even a describable sound. It's That's why people hate on it so sound. much. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking the deathcore is the, is saying, hey, I'm free to do whatever the fuck I want. That's how it came about. It's all metal when it comes down to it. We play metal. We come from the school of metal. My aunts and uncles are metalheads, you know? It's, get over it, dude. Everyone listens to fucking Metallica, and that's what metal is. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's